It's guest in the studio time. We are rejoined by David L. Miller. He's uh, one of the gentlemen who's behind the Jesus tattoo billboards that you saw. And are they still up? Nope, they're down. We okay. started in October, but they're down there. Okay. But the website's still available, right? Absolutely. And you can go ahead and give that. Yep, it's JesusTattoo.org. Yeah, I have, I have no problem with that right. whatsoever with the message. I just thought that, uh, that it was a little bit, uh, the way that it was dropped on the city was a little bit much. Okay, so let me ask this question then. Please. What is the message? The message is really simple. You know, we were telling a parable, just like uh, Jesus did in the Bible, except he was talking about sheep and the prodigal son and a variety of things that were culturally relevant. Mm -hmm. So we looked at what's the way to tell the same story, because it's still relevant today. What's the way to tell that story in a way that the culture will will relate to it? Mm -hmm. And, you know, we've had, you know, the biggest arguments that I've had about the campaign have frankly been from Christians. Yeah. Not non-Christians. Non-Christians... Um, Frankly, they got the symbolism very quickly right. about what Jesus did when he died on the cross. But I'll tell you, um, and this is this is a little sad in some respects, we've had a lot of Christians who said, well, that's exactly what Christians ought to be doing is finding ways to tell the, the story right. in, in a way that's true. But we've also had a lot of Christians who are quick to um, to judge the message. And so we've we've tried, we've spent a lot of time trying to help people understand what the basis, basic of the message was. And the fact that we weren't focused on a, a message that's about tattoos. Right. It transcends that message. See, now, I'm, I'm totally for that because the way I see it is the, the people, in my mind, if you look at it from a Christian perspective, the ones right. that are truly lost right now yeah. are these Christians that <laughs> yeah. that are looking to judge people <laughs> like him. Yeah. I, you know, well, I understand. I tell you what. Consider if, me a Christian with tattoos and you, you get other Christians who wouldn't want me in their church. It is obvious that I'm not part of that group anymore, but when I was, this was the kind of thing that I was looking for. Right. I mean, this was definitely one of the things that would have kept me around the church. Now, there are questions about the appropriateness of the campaign. Here's a question for you. In many depictions of the crucifixion, Jesus is naked. Would you still be complaining that people weren't putting your message out there if it was a naked Jesus on those billboards? You know, um, booyah! I think that's a good. I think that's a good question, Wes. Because, because I'll tell you, I, I, I'm very focused on being true to exactly what the gospel is. Yeah. So um, I'll tell you. If it, if we weren't trying to, if we didn't want people to, to focus on the message, if we were cons more concerned, frankly, about them getting lost, uh -huh. you're right. Um, I, I don't know that we well, were, would intrude, and it would have been a much bloodier Jesus. The truth is that he died a very gruesome, horrible death. Right. So if we showed him as we believe he was on right. the cross, um, it'd be it, honestly, it'd be difficult for me to look at as well. Yeah, it would be very, uh, it would be very upsetting for people. And yes. you've got to understand that there's some people who think it's more upsetting to show him with uh, tattoos. Yeah, fair enough. You know what we hope people will do, though. I think after you watch the video, you yeah. know it is. We are very clear. I think infinitely clear about what we're trying to communicate. But some people still get lost, and they quote Old Testament scripture to yeah. us. Um, which which is fine. You know, we want people to have an opinion and to voice it. We just don't want them to get so lost that they miss the, the main part of the message, which is clear about that Jesus' love is transformational. It's life-changing. And if they don't get that from the video, we've missed something. Yeah. Well, I think you get the message across. I just, once again, I don't, how do I phrase this? Or I said, the, 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 I think the delivery was a misfire. I don't know. I quit crawling into your brain a long time ago. <laughs> David L. Miller, hey, we have great respect for you, sir. You yeah. keep up your good work. And, and I really think that you do need to step out in front and tell people what you mean, because I think you do a good job when you tell them what you mean. Fair so, enough. So, fair enough. Next time we can do that? Yeah, you next promise? time we'll do it. You call there will me. be a next time, and I'll, 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 you call I'll come me here first. And I'll sign off on it for there you. you. <laughs> I will come here Let first. Let you know everything is cool, and we'll be good. Okay? You have my commitment. Approval. Right, thank you, sir. <laughs>